What up everyone, welcome to BMG, it's your boy Brown Mamba, hope you guys are doing good. So that was one of my new intros that one of my subscribers made, his name is Breps Zaxter. Thank you Breps, um, I like that intro, he made me two, I like this one more. He had sent me a message saying that my intro was a little bland and uh, he could make me a better one and he did and I liked it so he gave it to me and now it's in my videos. You guys let me know what you guys think. If you like it, leave a comment. If you like my old one, let me know. Maybe I'll go back to my old one. But for now, this is good. So thank you again, Breps. I appreciate it. You're the man. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play Xbox on your iPad. I know a lot of people might say, what's the point of playing Xbox on a small little iPad screen? But there's, a, there's two things to it. One, it's just cool. You know, it's a cool thing to try out or do, just to fool around with even at least once. Um, and number two, I actually use it all the time because my Xbox is in my gaming room and sometimes I feel like playing Minecraft or NBA or something like that in my bed, it, like all cozied up and everything. So I play on my iPad and I play Minecraft or whatever else in my bed and it's easier for me. Um, there might be other ways to do this, but this is the way that I do it. I'll go into detail in a bit. You do need a computer, like a laptop or something like that as well to make this work, uh, but it works. Like, you could play games like Call of Duty, Minecraft, NBA, anything you can do on your Xbox, you can do on your iPad. But I suggest, like, you know, playing Call of Duty competitively it won't really work out too good because I'm pretty sure there's like a little tiny lag, maybe like a couple of milliseconds. And playing first person shooter, that makes a big difference. But it all depends on your connection. Like, if you see my video right now, I'm playing Call of Duty and I do pretty good. Not my best, obviously, but I do good enough that I go positive and, you know, it's not, it's not a bad experience at all. But I do have a good connection, um, so I think that makes a big difference. So playing Minecraft or anything like that, perfect. Like, you have no issues at all. And, you know, a lot of my videos that I've put on my channel, like, of me creating the Call of Duty maps or my dream house or whatever it is, I actually made it on my iPad. So, you know, it worked out for me. I do want to apologize for, like, the camera view and all the lighting and all that stuff. I don't have the right equipment. And I don't think I'm gonna buy the right equipment because I'm just a small channel. But I did try my best. I try to, I, I use my iPhone, um, but it didn't come out too bad. But I could see some of the lighting and the angles are a little weird. But it worked out. So I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is exactly what you need to make the Xbox work on your iPad. So obviously you need an iPad. I have a iPad Air. Yeah, the first generation iPad Air. And I've, been, I've had it since it came out and I love it and it's perfect for me. Uh, the second thing you need is the iPad wire. This might be optional depending on a few things. Um, I like a wired connection because it's a, it's a better secure connection. And I'll get into that a little bit later. And then you also need a USB extension cable depending on how your setup is, where your laptop or desktop might be. Um, and also you need a wireless adapter if you want to have a wireless Xbox controller hooked up to your iPad. or you could always use a wired controller as well. And you obviously need an Xbox One controller. That's my Elite controller, and that's the one I usually use, unless I'm playing uh, Minecraft, and I could just use a regular controller. You're also gonna need a computer, so you could either use one of those full-size laptops or one of those mini laptops. But what I personally use, it's a mini PC, and I'll put the specs of my mini PC on, on the screen for you guys. So you know what, at the end of the day, if you could find like an old laptop sitting around your house, I'm sure people have that, or even an old desktop, it doesn't matter. As long as you know it, it works and you can install Windows 10 on it, it's, it's gonna work for you. And finally, you're gonna need some software. Windows 10 is the most obvious because we do need that feature where you can stream your Xbox One onto your PC through Windows 10. So yeah, that's the most important one. So make sure you have Windows 10 on your laptop or mini PC or whatever you guys decide to use. And secondly, you guys are gonna need an app that will mirror your, I guess, the output from the computer onto your iPad or iPhone or any other tablet that you guys might have. I personally, I use Duet Display. It does cost, I think, 15 or 20 bucks when I got it. There are some free ones, but I prefer Duet Display because one, it uses a wired connection, so there's absolutely no lag from your PC to your iPad, and you could actually use the touch features on the iPad to control your PC, so you don't need a mouse or a keyboard, and you can just do everything off your iPad by using the touch features, which is great. And there are some other apps you can download too that you could kind of mirror it wirelessly. There will be some lag, um, from my experiences, so I prefer the wired connection, but you could definitely try the, the the wireless ones too. You might have a better router than me and it might work out for you. And then 
that, that's the best situation, right? Because then your iPad is completely wireless and you can move it around anywhere you want and be able to play Xbox. And so now the next part, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to connect everything together and, and how the touch on the iPad works to control your PC. To hook everything up is actually really simple. All you do is plug in your laptop or your PC to your outlet. And if you have a laptop, you don't even need to plug it in depending on how much battery you have left in your laptop, obviously. Uh, but for me, because I use a mini PC, I plug that into the outlet. And then you get the lightning cable and you hook that up from your PC to your iPad or iPhone, doesn't make a difference. And also the wireless adapter, you put that on either a USB 3.0 or USB 2.0. Once again, it doesn't make any difference which one you use, they both work fine. For my setup, I have my mini PC underneath my night table. So I do have to use that USB extender to hook up to my iPad. So I have a little bit more room if I wanna move around on my bed. But yeah, then I just keep it on my iPad stand or I put it on my lap when I'm playing Xbox. And the, the control doesn't have a wire because I use the adapter. Once you have everything hooked up, it's really simple after that. All you do is you download the app that you wanna use onto your iPad or iPhone. So in my case, I downloaded Duet Display onto my iPad. And then what I did was I downloaded the software onto my mini PC to make it all work. So in your case, if you guys have a laptop, it's really simple to do. Just go on their website and you can download it. In my case, because it's a mini PC, I actually had to get a monitor and hook it up to my mini PC, download the software, and that was it. After that, I did not need the monitor anymore. So every time I would turn my PC on, it would go straight to my, my, my iPad. So once you're on the iPad screen, all you do is you look for the app, do a display in my case, and you click on it, it'll start loading and it'll go straight into your, to your actual computer screen basically. And from there, you can just use the touch features to control your PC. You don't need a mouse, you don't even need a keyboard. And in order to use the actual Xbox controller, when you start streaming the Xbox One onto your PC, it'll ask you to connect the controller. You just turn it on and hook it up to your adapter and that's it, it works perfectly fine. If you have a wired controller, it's even easier. The wire's already in there, the computer's already picked it up and you're ready to go. So in order for you guys to actually stream the Xbox One onto your Windows 10, I already made a video on that a little while ago, so you can click on the video right here, and I'll show you exactly how to stream your Xbox One onto your Windows 10. But remember, Windows 10 is the most important thing because it has like the best streaming feature and it's amazing, and I, I use it, so I definitely, definitely encourage you guys to use Windows 10 to actually stream your Xbox One. And that's it. So if you guys wanna play your Xbox One on your iPad or your iPhone, it's completely possible. I'm living proof of it. It's virtually lag free. I play Minecraft on it, I play NBA 2K16, I play GTA, and I even play Call of Duty sometimes. It works for me, I'm sure it'll work for you guys. If you guys have a better way of doing this, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys do, or if this way works for you guys, let me know as well. Just leave a comment below. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, press that like button, share it with everyone you know, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Mamba out. Peace.